Hey guys, welcome back to Creating Process. This video is dedicated to show you how to create a print design. In this video, we'll be designing a business card from the basic rough idea to the final design for print. We'll start our design with Illustrator, where we complete this whole designing process. Then we'll jump to Photoshop and create our template for that design. So let's begin our tutorial. Uh, first of all, the standard dimension for business card is uh, width 2 inches and height 3.5 inches. So I have opened up uh, Illustrator file. Uh, this is the default Illustrator file where we got an artboard. First of all, we need to change the artboard size to our dimension. So to change the artboard size, let's select the artboard. And if you go here, the width and height are in points. So we need this in inches. So to change that, we go to document setup and here we got that so instead of points select the inches and click ok now if you go to artboard you got that in inches so let's change uh, the width to be 2 inches enter and the height should be 3.5 inches so we got that artboard size and here we go we got our first uh, dimension for our business card now we need two artboard for the front and back so we'll duplicate that select the artboard with the all press just click and drag and create out on the artboard of the same dimension so next thing we need to do is we need our to create the uh design so i have cre uh, created out a rough uh, design on a page and according to that the front design has got a logo in the middle um with a blue color in the background whereas the other page is in black uh, gray dark gray and it has got all the information where on the top i have uh, sketched out a logo and in the middle uh, the name and the designation and at the bottom side we got the the information like phone number email address and all so let's start so first of all i'll just create out a, a front page so to create that i'll just use the rectangle tool and using this uh, dimension I create out the same length and let's change it to something else first of all uh, I, I have done some research and I have selected out two color here uh, first uh, the front for the front page I have used the blue color so the code is this and uh, for the dark gray I have chosen this so I just bring this in here and use this as a reference so okay that's great I'll just scale this down a little bit and place it there now this one i need blue so i just select with the eye picker select that color blue and other piece i just duplicate this and place it here like that and this one i change it to black that's dark gray a nice one now let's work out so according to my rough design i have got a boundary with certain thickness that should be the dark gray color so i just select that and go to stroke and choose the this black color now let's change to this color so I just go there and uh, just type out the same value like 262727 and enter and you got that now I'll just increase the stroke thickness and I call and I'll go there stroke and make this align stroke to inside and this will um, bring in to inside now let's reduce the stroke thickness so let's keep it around 3 let's see okay we can reduce it to let's see uh, 1.5 let's see maybe 2 is good so let's give 2 enter like that now let's work out I need a logo so I have our logo that's creating process so you can use your own logo here so I'll just bring it in and place it here first of all I'll change this color to white so go here white now I just bring this in the center and let's scale this down like this place it in the middle just scale it down a little bit and let's see okay let's zoom it in work it out like that let's check it out okay that's looking good I'll just lock this control 2 and play around with the logo so like with the arrow keys just do the placement and if you want some adjustment with the size you can just uh, make sure to make it bigger or smaller just check it out and you got it now next thing we need to create out this uh, information so let's work out with that I'll just duplicate this one more time and bring it around here scale it down like that and place it around here let's see like that okay control 2 lock this the background is locked now I'll just play around with the logo next uh, let's type out some text so I'll use a random name like uh, any name so 
Michael Thomas, M I C H O Michael Thomas to Cho. Um, yes, Thomas. I'm using that name. And let's change the color to white. And let's give the font. Uh, I have thought of that. I'm using the font uh, G A U T A M I got me. This is the font I'm using. And for this, I'm using the bold one. And let's place it around here and the size around let's give it around 13 points so that's a little bigger now I'll use some alignment so control R to bring out the ruler and let's place this around here let's do the alignment like that so it should be in the same line so let's do that just align this here like that and I'll just duplicate this one more with the R press just click and drag it out and we got that and here make it rule regular and let's change the font so with the text control R sales this is the designation sales manager M A N A G E R manager and let's reduce the font size to around 12 let's see and let's change the color to with the eye picker I'll choose the color from here like this we got that and now let's duplicate this one more and bring it down and this is for the information part so I'll just change this uh, size to 9 let's say and let's fill that up so first of all control all your company um, Let's remove this guideline and if you check it out okay that's great let's do some placement so let's select these and push it down I think uh, we need to select all these and push it uh, toward left a little bit like that and let's see that's great now let's change this color to blue with the same color with from here selected that we got that here we need uh, we will add some uh, line segment here so I'll use the line and from here click and drag and create our line segment and let's uh, give the same color with the eye picker so like that uh, change the uh, the stroke color and like that and let's give it some like 0.5 thickness like that so if you look at it it's looking great let's do some placement arrangement so we'll just push it down a little bit let's look at it it should be clean the design should be clean and look professional like this and this one we can just work it out like that left like that see so almost we have created that <clears throat> I can just delete this out now and now we got that uh, if you see the thickness great that's great okay fine now finally we have designed now it's time to export so before we export there are a few stuff we need to make sure uh, before exporting out so uh, let's <coughs> understand that first of all uh, we need to create some extra area because when you export it out like this uh, the printer might cut out some area from here because you don't have any extra area so we need to create some extra portion to do that we need to create some bleeding area so to create that go to document setup and here you got that so here you got to bleed the top bottom you you'll give some bleed to on all the four sides so let's give that like 0 0.0.125 inches to all side and you got that right box around all so let's do that so now once you have got that let's extend this background to that portion so let's extend this just click and drag and extend it till red border like that in the same way from this corner extend this make sure they are aligned like that and now we need to do some adjustments here we need that black portion inside so we need to make sure that whatever uh, thing which you need to be shown inside we it should be inside this box so let's increase the stroke thickness here so let's increase it like that let's give it around 11 let's see okay that's looking good you can just reuse it let's say check it out for 10 maybe it's 
see this one we need to align it properly so let's align it zoom it in align it properly do the alignment for this too so just go there do the alignment here now let's increase this to 11 okay 11 is great in the same way we select this and let's increase the dimension so let's ex create that extra portion here along the red like that in the same way from this portion let's extend this out according to that and from here that's fine okay for this uh, all this is black so we can just um, get that out so this is these are few of the steps which is very necessary if you are exporting something for printing purpose because all these bleeds help in uh, giving some extra area while you print out and you can cut out the extra portion later on but if you don't use this you might lose some of your information so that's important here so now let's export this out so I'll go to file save as and let's change this to PDF and let's give it some name like um, um let's say PDF for this and click OK so and after that you got some uh, setting box here so we'll go to marks and bleed and here uh, tick on on this trim marks if and if you need some color bars also you can just click that but it's not necessary next registration mark page information you can just click on this and it will be available so maybe you want some plain information just stick it on and click save PDF and once it will be saved the print design is ready and the PDF is open here you can see uh, we got that uh, edges where it shows you could you have to cut it from this line to this line and you got that nice area in the same way the front page you got that nice design so we got this you can just take this out and print the orders now let's get back to our Photoshop and let's create out some template for this design 